live from the studios at 5 Eyewitness News, it's Twin Cities Live, your official show for summer, with your hosts Elizabeth Reese and Chris Eggert. Hello! Oh. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone, thanks for being here. Nice. Happy Friday, welcome to Twin Cities Live. A bittersweet day in our studio because it's emotional today. This has been, I would say, without doubt, my favorite week since starting the show. Aww. We've asked local brewers and asked our chefs to create dishes using delicious craft beers. I mean, it really has been amazing. It That's why been, it's so bittersweet to see it go. It's sad. It's sad. But the results have been tasty. Today, our Twin Cities Live Kitchen Star is combining the beer Surly and Stir Fry. Can't wait for that. Speaking of beer, we have uh -huh. some great Father's Day gift ideas for you. Of course, one of them has to revolve around beer, but yes. lots of good ideas. And Twin Cities designers are going head-to-head -head in our $50 fashion challenge, head-to-toe look. They had to come up with 50 bucks or less. So. Nice. Uh, you guys, our audience here has already seen them, mm -hmm. and they voted, and so we can't wait to see the outfits and then see the results. What does our audience think? They look like toughies out there. You guys, yeah. they they've already tough. made they've already made their decision. Yes, the voting happens. Look at how bold they are. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I like the audience. They're laughing already. That's well, that's good. a good sign. Thank you for starting off our Friday yes. in a good way, everybody. We, We're we, happy that you're we here. We appreciate that. Well, many of you have been out celebrating. We've had graduations happening all across the metro. Yeah. Exciting time of year for parents. Probably a little sad for parents. I know. And exciting. I like all the commencement speeches because yes. I like to see what people say, you know, as words of wisdom for these graduates as they move forward. And, and one of our uh, Twin Cities Live viewers suggested that we get advice from seniors for seniors. I see what you're doing here. From seniors, <laughs> for seniors. So what'd you do? Today we caught up with some seniors working out at the Williston, Phyllis and, uh, Williston Fitness Center in Minnetonka. Don't eat garbage. Even though you're not overweight, be very careful and try to be mindful all the time what you're putting into your body. Did you put garbage in your I body did. when you were 18? Like what? I was overweight. I ate too much ice cream and candy. They should enjoy every day. Every day is wonderful. You don't worry about gray, you worry about every day, period. Just enjoy it. Always make the main thing the main thing. So if the main thing is school, make it the main thing. If the main thing is work, make it the main thing. Oh, I can tell you, Joel. Okay. Do you know where bees go to the bathroom? No. At the BP station. It's the best I can do. I have others, but we're on TV, you know. So tell more, maybe tell more jokes. Yeah, oh, nice. Learn yeah, more jokes. Yeah, be happy and, and don't take life too seriously. Laugh a lot. Ask yourself, too. Don't get caught out in lies. Don't get caught in lies. Right. So that would right. mean don't lie. Well, you take that whatever way you like. <laughs> I take that as come up with a good lie if you're going to lie. Well, right, exactly. <laughs> Stay active. You know, just get, you know, uh, have a lot of fun and stay active and pay attention to your studies. Get as much education as you can possibly handle. Uh, you will benefit from it the rest of your life. So if you were sitting right here and there was an 18-year-old high school senior standing right next to us, what kind of advice would you have for them? Keep active exercise, always. What about 18-year-old boy advice regarding women? I don't know if I can say this or not, but always carry a condom. You can say that. I can say that. Um, and respect them. Always respect them. Practical advice. Nice work, really. You got in the pool with them oh, and everything. We're right in there. You did a great job. Yeah. So we asked our Facebook friends um, to share some of their advice as well. And so here's a couple that we got. Oh, man, now I lost it. I lost it. Mike, help me. What do I do? It's gone. Well, they had good advice. Mike, save me. Oh I know. Well, in the meantime. <laughs> Sorry. I really botched that. Yes, thanks, Mike. Mike Marcott, everybody, to the rescue. <laughs> Man, it's good to have Mike around. Yes, he fixes it is. anything. Here, Jane says, find something you love to do and make it a career. Did you do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mike made a career out of helping me not make a disaster out of myself. It was very nice. Uh, Nikki says, don't drown yourself in credit card debt. Be smart with your finances. Makes sense. Jessica yep. says, travel, meet new people, experience different cultures. Mm -hmm. Don't wait to do it. And uh, Amy says, Chris, 
avoid getting tattoos anywhere you can't hide easily. Right now, you don't know who your future employers are. That's great advice. <laughs> you, always, you should always remember that. That was good Happy stuff. National Donut Day, Happy. everyone. And we have donuts. Yes. And not only do we have donuts, but we have donut facts, because I know how much you guys like the facts. Are we ready for some donut facts? Oh, we're ready. Okay, here we go. I don't Do get this National Donut Day. Well, it started almost 100 years ago, Elizabeth, with a group of female volunteers with the Salvation Army giving donuts to World War I vets. Oh, see, that's the thing. And sometimes you see these National Whatever Day, and you think, whatever, that was a marketing thing right. from the donut. And if you said that today, you probably feel pretty bad after you saw that fact. <laughs> All right, in the United States alone, more than 10 billion donuts are made every Every year. Wow. The and US... that would be, that just is a sign <laughs> of so many that's, things. That's a lot, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Uh, the U.S. donut industry is worth $3.6 billion. A billion. The largest donut ever made was an American style jelly donut weighing 1.7 ton, tons. Whoa. 16 feet in diameter and 16 inches high in the center. How do you like that? That's amazing. Per capita, the Canadians like the donuts. Canadians, really? You bet. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Take no, off you there. say A. Yeah. Yeah. They always say A. Uh, Canada has more donut shops than any other country. More donut facts. I don't know. I'm done with donut oh, facts. Oh, I like them. This is good. One more. Okay. The hole in the donut center appeared the first half of the 19th century. And why is the hole in the donut? So it can cook more evenly. The donut hole is like a great thing. There you go. That was, that's very, very fun. All right. Thanks to Quick Trip bringing us some fine donuts mm -hmm. here. Thank you. They brought us these glazers. Today through the 13th, you can get half a dozen of them for a buck 99. Yeah, we have a Quick Trip Father's Day gas giveaway we wanted to tell you about. We're teaming up with our friends at Quick Trip again next Thursday, June 13th. So the first 300 people at a surprise location will get themselves an envelope containing a gift card valued anywhere between 10 bucks and 100 bucks. That's pretty good, huh? So Emily's going to be there. She's going to be handing out our Twin Cities Live sunglasses. And here's how you find out where she'll be. The location will be released at 2.30 p.m. on our website and on our Facebook page. You get there, one of the first 300 people, you get one of those gift cards, and we have more info on our website. Just click on the official summer calendar. I mean, who doesn't want a pair of these? Hello. And everyone, you guys have these in your bags I over there, know, don't you? I know, you're all getting them. Everyone in our audience is receiving coupons for free car washes and free pizza from Quick, Quick Love Trip. Love it. So, uh, there you go. That's a good deal. Uh, so, everyone in the Twin Cities Live office, I've been trying for days to talk about this on TV because I got an email from a supermodel. Oh, man. <laughs> Was that the first time you've ever said that? Yes. <laughs> so there's a local gal. Her name is Valerie Carpenter. She's originally from Forest Lake, and she's up for being the next guest girl. So oh, there you go. Wow. There's Valerie. Nice young lady. And you can go right now to try to help her become a guest girl by going to our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. Go there and vote. So she has been emailing me. <laughs> She's into 40-year-old married guys with two kids. <laughs> I can totally, right tell, I can totally t rally. tell that about her. <laughs> it's Twin Cities Live Night at the Ballpark tonight. We're headed off to the St. Paul Saints game later on tonight. We are. One of the biggest fans on the staff is, of course, Emily Engberg. She is out there live with some fun before game time. She's been revved up all day for this. Hey, Em. Hello, I'm so excited. As you know, Friday Emily is super fun, but when I add in the Saints, it just escalates. I'm really pumped to be at the ballpark today. And of course, we have some big fans that are not only fans of TCL, but also of the Saints playing games back there. Judy and David, they're going to give us a little wave back there. They go to all the games. Uh, but one of the things that you've got to love about the ballpark is, of course, the food. And Rob Barrett is with me. Rob? Friday, okay. Rob. Friday, Rob. <laughs> Friday, Rob is also a lot of fun. You have a tip, though. We're going to have some tailgating, unique takes on things coming up. But real quick about hot dogs, if you're going to make them out at the parking lot beforehand, right. something they're, you need to know. They're the easiest thing to make because they're already cooked. So you can, don't actually have to cook them if you don't want. You can just warm them up. And we actually did a pretty big taste test with kids and about 15 kids and adults. And um, the, the ballpark, B. Frank's one for the adults. Really? And then the kids like the Oscar Mayer. They like what they know. They like what they know. And but, there's something else, too, that you said to be careful about how long you put them on there. Too much? Too little? Makes a little bit of a difference? Well, you don't want to burn them, obviously. Well, right. So, unless you're so, me, right? When exactly. you're cooking, that generally does happen. No, but they're, they're already cooked, so all you need to do is warm them up, get a little of, of a, you know, the char marks. But if you're... 
if you're a novice tailgater, this is the easiest thing easiest to do. Easiest thing to do. Easiest thing to do. It'll okay. catch up. You're good to go. Awesome. Okay, so I do want to mention something about the drinks tonight. So Chris and Elizabeth, uh, they have something new here at the Saints. You got to look at these two. They have craft beer section, the beer dabbler bullpen. So we have the Liftbridge Farm Girl. I love this that one. right here. Yes, and they also have the Badger Hill Wanderlust White IPA. Ooh. So you can go get that. And again, beer dabbler bullpen. Brand new this year, super fun. And if you're going to be a tailgater tonight, we're going to have a unique take on some foods. Rob has some cool stuff coming up in just a little bit. Awesome. We'll see you in a few minutes, Em. Thanks so much. Sounds good. And congratulations to Judy Perry. She's from Owatonna, and she's today's Facebook Fan of the Day, sponsored by Devani's. Judy works at Owatonna Junior High. She is also a grandmother to three. You can win this contest. Just go to the contest logo on our Facebook page, enter for your chance to win a really sweet Twin Cities Live. It's priceless, it really is, yes. Coming up next, we're wrapping up a week's worth of recipes made with Minnesota beer. Boy, this has been so much fun. Our TCL Kitchen star is adding Surly to stir fry. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> and speaking of beer, we have a home beer tapping system plus other fun Father's Day gift ideas. And you've heard Matt Hires on KS95. I love this song. Find out what he was doing before he became a singer. And he's here to perform his hit, Restless Heart. It's coming up today on Twin Cities Live. <laughs>